the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Word, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting love. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompt and discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry, because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, Move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and, not, and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart, more than, more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Holy 
Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put, then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Today, St. Matthew reminds us of those words of our Lord Jesus, as he's told us regarding our mission as Christians, to be the salt and the light of the world. Now, on one hand, as many of you know, salt is necessary seasoning to make food taste good. Without salt, most dishes are kind of bland. But throughout the centuries, of course, salt has also been a fundamental element to preserve food, to keep food from going bad. So Jesus tells us, you must be the salt of the world, and like the salt, you are to be flavorable. Also, avoid corruption. All that, of course, is done by the Holy Spirit. Now, in our time, we live in some interesting times where so many people fall into some crazy attitudes sometimes. Many people have lost the sense that life can be full of flavor or spice, or in other words, that life can truly be worth living. But that can only truly be done through, of course, living a life in, through, and with our Lord. Well, a lot of people don't do that. And so they end up being disappointed or crushed or disillusioned, whatever it might be. And so they claim that their life is just not worth living. There's so many disappointments or difficulties or sufferings. And it goes by so very, very fast, and then you die. I mean, well, what's the point? That's a very sad perspective that, unfortunately, many people have. But Jesus tells us, you're the salt of the earth. It's up to us Christians to give flavor to the world by showing the joyfulness, the purposefulness of living a life in Christ Jesus. Because everything in our lives can be a path to sanctity, everything. And if we journey with our Lord, He will continue to enliven us by making difficulties, suffering, even pain, means to purify ourselves. And when we realize that, at the end of our lives, we can then receive a wonderful life of glory the eternal happiness that is waiting for us. But we also have to do what salt does. As our Lord's disciples, we have to preserve and be preserved from corruption. Where there are Christians living without faith, there can't be injustice, violence, ill treatment, and so forth, okay? If we're that salt of the earth, we don't allow for it. Because we're bringing Christ, we're bringing Jesus, His peace, His justice, His mercy, His power through us, right? We're called to do that. But Christians are also, of course, supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to be like a torch, not, not some little bit here, okay, a torch here, all right, to bring the example of his life, to show the path of salvation, and to also bring the light of truth, because so many people are living in falsehoods, deceptions, darkness, okay. So where for us, before there was only darkness, uncertainty, and doubt, now we have light, certainty, and that self-confidence. You can't just keep that for yourself. You've got to share that, right? So that means, of course, you have to be able then, for those who might be struggling a little bit yourselves, let the Lord enlighten you. Let Him give you that certainty and that self-confidence. That's not hard. It really is not. You simply let go. Surrender your old self. Throw out that weak, old, bland salt that was once you and receive that new spiciness, the new life of the Holy Spirit. And then let God lead you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And something wonderful will happen. You then will become light itself. Placing our trust in the God's hands, he's coming for him now with our prayers and intercessions. That all men and women of goodwill may receive perfect peace, which is the presence of our Lord Jesus, to help heal our wounded world and bring about change as directed by God the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our parish community, that our unity in the faith of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will grow ever stronger. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who live without faith, the love of the Blessed Trinity will awaken their minds and give hope to their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who struggle with depression, addiction, loneliness, or mental illness, they will experience the consolation of knowing that they are loved by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the grace this week to leave, live each, each moment consciously united to God, may bless all that we think, say, and do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for all of our holy souls in purgatory, and for a special intention on behalf of Rachel Rochelle, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Please take a moment to bow your heads and in silence ask God for whatever you need. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for receiving our prayers. We always are grateful for the many gifts that you bestow upon us. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual children. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord sacrifice in your hands, but in the grace and glory of His name, for our good and to all of us the Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our prayers, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. So in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and even it. 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. And Amen. Amen. the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, for those of you watching at home, it's time now for our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally. Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil servants who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 